because I have three snakes. And my parents are watching this right now like, what do you mean three snakes? And they're looking at each other like, this guy's out of control, which I am. A while ago, I bought a bearded dragon, which is a very cool reptile. I thought it would be dope to hold and bring around and bullshit, whatever. He ended up being a bit more maintenance than I was prepared to do, because then you needed live crickets, but crickets make noise. So I put them outside, then they all died. Then you needed mealworms, which are disgusting, gross little things that you had to feed to it. The mealworms high key got out. I don't think I ever told that story, but like then I had like mealworms in my room, which is probably like anyone's biggest nightmare. And then he started stinking, and I was like, okay, fuck this. So I gave it away to a pet. Place, whatever. But because I have no sense of self-control, I bought a snake <laughs> well, a few days ago. <laughs> I named the snake Luna. Noah and I are gonna go to the pet store right now, pick up a dead rat or mouse, and I'm gonna attempt to feed Luna, and we're gonna see what happens. We don't know yet. I don't know if it's gonna not eat it. I don't know how it's gonna feel about anything, but all we can do is give it a try and see what happens. All right, so we're back from the pet store. We have the fat mouse here. The mouse, yeah. He took the mouse out of the thing. I looked away, I came back, it was dead. I said, is it knocked out? He said, it was dead. So he must have over the corner. There's our beautiful Luna. And he, she took a shit already. That's nice. You love to see it. Oh, damn. Oh, she sees it. She's definitely gonna go for it. Oh, the way it like gets ready. Oh, see the time? Just like that. Oh, fuck. Just like that. She got him in a chokey choke. The mouse is like pooping because it's squeezing it so goddamn hard. <laughs> Oh. Now, if we're keeping it in a stack, the other guy at the pet store said, you're gonna feed him about uh, like a, mi a mouse pup, which is a smaller mouse. My nigga, that's a fucking regular ass mouse. <laughs> that's an adult mouse. So let's hope that Luna can swallow that MF. I swear they can. Body width of the snake should be about the body width of the mouse. She's going for the head. Oh, oh, she's opening up. Incredible. That's a great sign that it's eating. What I'm gonna do now is put this back over. Just let her do her thing. And let her do her thing, put the heat on, and we'll just let it rock. Just like that. I ain't even gonna fuck with it too much. I'm keeping the snake. How big can it get? Four to five feet. Jesus. So like. <laughs> We're gonna sleep in bed with it? So, everything I looked up online, there's conflicting opinions on. Make sure you do this for your snake, but I would never do this. Some people say, don't have anything to your snake to climb on in the enclosure because ball pythons could fall and hurt their rib, whatever. And then I'm at the pet store with this guy. He said, oh, and put this in there so it can climb on it and shit. And I'm like, what about these other people online saying never do that? And then you're saying, oh, definitely do that. And then they said online, get a heat mat for the one side of the tank. So when it's laying down, it can heat up and you know, keep its temperature regulated. I go into the pet store, oh, never use a heat mat. What do you want me to do? And I do this to myself. Challenges now that I have to face. So if there's any Python owners that want to help me out in the comments, please do so. I'm open to all the feedback, but I don't need comments from the peanut gallery. You need to do this and do that. I got it. So you guys remember the mural that we had here. Our buddy Elliot is painting over it right now. No more. Gone. Two years. Y'all remember when we first got that shit? But now we have a new vibrant shade of blue. Damn. Can you paint over Rob's face? Yeah. And Rob's not here right now. He can't even defend himself. The yacht party is ending. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, 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 <laughs> on my Instagram, uh, which no one follows, um, I saw some kids that were like, are you just gonna give it away in three months like your iguana? And I was like, first off, it was one week and it was a bearded dragon. Get your facts straight, fucking Seth, 13 year old idiot. And then a lot of people were like, fuck that, fuck snakes. Are you scared of snakes? Not really. I don't do bugs, I, I don't do spiders. Mm -hmm. That's all. I always wanted a turtle, I don't know why. Turtles are dope, I think snakes are dope. <laughs> I'm just scared they like choke me, but as yes. long as you they tell you what not to do then like if I was in the brush of an Amazon rainforest and then I saw a massive head of a snake this big and it was like right here, I'd be spooked. <laughs> but they feel dope. You hold them, they feel cool and smooth, and they're like very beautiful looking creatures. I live on the edge. Snakes are exotic creatures. I'm exotic. Guess what, motherfucker? I am gonna do the tub setup, which they say helps to regulate the humidity better. You can control the temperature in there better. It's lower so that you don't have to be doing one of these in there. Mm. I think it's gonna be easier to care for when I get the 
tub. So this is the tub that I purchased for the snake. So they say that the smaller the snake, they actually prefer smaller enclosures so that they feel like protected and safe. I'm basically a python expert at this point. But even if you have a little bit bigger one, as long as you fill it up with enough stuff, I'm gonna attempt to build this thing. I bought a power drill, so I have to like in the sides for the holes. I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, it's a lot. It, sometimes you just wanna feel something. I do want to snap this in half high key because I feel like it takes up too much yeah, that's like pretty big. And then they say, oh, it's good for the thing, so when it sheds. But to be honest, like changing the water and shit is a pain in the ass whenever I have to move this around. Come who kick that shit. Oh, that bitch seems hard. I don't know if I can break this shit. I mean, you were a soccer player, right? Uh-huh. Feel that leg power. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, this can come off. I don't know if that's gonna break. Nope. Damn. This is reminding me of, maybe you remember this, the Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the cartoon version from like the 1950s, when he's making reindeer antlers for the dog. He oh, like takes two sticks like, <laughs> and then like sticks, sticks it to the dog's head. I can eat a saw for this. Yeah, or else it's not gonna look pretty. Wait. The kitchen knife. This is like an accident waiting to happen. Let's <laughs> we'll find out. That's gonna work, yeah. See, I'm a good dad. I do whatever for my daughter. <laughs> We might literally be here all day. Oh, shit. Fuck this. <laughs> this is fucked. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. Why the fuck did I buy the snake? Oh, well, that didn't work. We're gonna put this. So in two days, I'm going to pop off the lid. Uh -oh. oh. We'll see if she eats it. Even if it does grab it, it doesn't mean it's gonna eat it. Oh, great. Should look fine to me. Looks good. Like so either in about a day, we're not gonna smell anything, or we're gonna smell a decomposing mouse. I do it to myself. <laughs> I just want to show this to show how real we are. YouTubers will put on the whole facade of look at this perfect life. This is the state of the sink right now. Eggs, apples, whatever. Here's the thing. Recently, I've been getting into minimalism. Some would argue that I'm not because I keep buying shit that I don't need. I saw a thing that was talking about in your household, in your cabinet, whatever. Most people have like 15 forks. How many people really live there? Four. How many people live here? Three. So why the f do I have 10 forks? You can have one fork per person, right. that's all you need. Throughout all of our dishes, whatever, and now we have two bowls and four plates. And the only problem with that is once they get all dirty, then you have to clean all of them. It means that the dishes don't actually ever get crazy. Throw out any unnecessary crap, we have four forks now. <laughs> Because there's only three of us. <laughs> Alex slapping. <laughs> Alex, why do you need five? Well, if you have guests, what do you do? And that's the thing that people will say. What if you have guests? What are the chances that if you do have a guest over, that every single person will be eating simultaneously? Gotcha. Gotcha. Have a point. Oh, we have Alex here, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Alex edits videos on the Strawberry Park channel, which you happen to be watching right now, but you haven't been in the vlogs yet. Maybe once or twice, but not like as an editor. I was just like sitting there and no introduction at all or anything. <laughs> okay. You guys remember RIP Steve Irwin, Crocodile Hunter. In essence, I'm kind of the, the next generation of that because I have three snakes and my parents are watching this right now. Like, what do you mean three snakes? And they're looking at each other like, this guy's out of control, which I am. So Alex, do you like snakes? I wouldn't say I like snakes. You'll tolerate them. I'm open-minded. He asked me outside, I said, do they bite? <laughs> they do. Well, that's not good. <laughs> but these are unlikely to. Okay, like, if you the chances. So the chances are, if you are holding it and you're like, waving your hand in front of it, being sketchy and nervous and moving fast and scaring yeah. it. The worst case ever is that it would do a little zing. They say that a cat scratching you would do more damage. That's not bad then. So. Look at that. So there's Luna. Yo. <laughs> and then, come here. And now, it is time for Reptiles with Rhino. I've been training for this like monologue for like my whole life. So Alex, do you know anything about this snake? I don't. Well, let me educate you. This is known as a ball python. And ball pythons live in West and Central Africa. They predominantly stay in abandoned termite mounds or they'll be in like warm rodent little hides and shit. They just like being in a place that's dark, warm and humid and hot, whatever. They're called a ball python because of this exact reason. Whenever they're sketched or nervous, they turn themselves into a ball, but that's okay because they're very docile in terms of different snake breeds. So this one, Luna, is about four or five months old. It won't bite you unless you're doing some crazy shit. Which I won't do. Which you definitely <laughs> won't do. But what I'll do right now is unball her a little bit just to get her to, you know, loosen up a little bit. It's a safe zone. And then the females 
get about a foot larger than the males, Luna will get to around four to five feet long, whereas her male counterparts will be maybe three to four feet long. And ball pythons really have like two or three modes. So they'll have the balled up mode, which is what she was in. And right now we're getting into the more loosey goosey investigation mode. They don't like being held necessarily. They'll just tolerate it. They're not like, oh, I love my owner. I love him so much. I love Rhino. He's so cool and awesome. But you'll know that the python is like relaxed and feeling okay when it's doing just this, which is you can feel they get looser. They're not as tense. And then they're investigating. If I were to put my hand in front of the snake, it'll like lunge back real quick. So if she does do that, you don't have to be worried about that. Sometimes it'd be startling me. I'm like, damn, I, what do I do? Me not trying to get any closer to the snake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just trying to... Me and Luna have had a few play dates okay. together. I've been butt naked. She's investigated all parts of my own planet. That did not happen, that did not happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sometimes I'll put her in my pants and then I'll, if a girl comes over, I say, want to see my snake? Um, <laughs> uh, You're in good hands, Alex. I am. So How long does the, a snake like that live? Pretty f***ing long. Um, <laughs> like 30 years. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be with Luna at least until it's full size. And I'm making that proclamation right now on the vlog. Four to five feet. And then I'll decide how long my life is going to be including her. So what I'm going to do now is hand her off to you. Oh, oh shit. The interesting thing about ball pythons is that they're, uh, and you can like Alex roll her around out. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's not moving right now, so. The thing about the snakes is they can sense if you're also nervous, whatever. So yeah. you don't have to be too gentle with it, whatever. Okay. But as long as you're not ah, in front of it, then it's chilling. Alex froze it. Yeah, I think Alex is freaking out inside. I was, now I'm chilling, but I just don't know how to. I want to go back to dad. And then if their tongue's out there flicking like that, that's also a good thing. Whoa. <laughs> and I put it on my neck and then I feel a little tongue on my neck and shit. I'm like, damn, finally a girl kissing my neck. Finally. <laughs> Give me a little reptile. Oh, okay. <laughs> when they're younger like this and they're a bit more squeamish, whatever, let's say it does jerk back or get scared, whatever, that's when you can't necessarily put it back into its little hideout because you're rewarding its scared behavior. Mm. So you have to let it know that, hey, even if you do get a, a little spook, nothing's gonna happen to you. So mm. the more times that we take her out and she gets acclimated and socialized to being held by people and stuff, then it's just gonna be better for her and everybody involved. Because when they be balled up, it's like no fun. Because mm -hmm. you want them doing exactly this, which is the yeah. investigation. Alex says, I can let go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> she knows her dad. They recognize scents, so they might know their owner's scent, but they don't have the capacity to like love. They're just like, I remember this motherfucker and then their smell. I'm gonna hand her off one more time. To me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Comes right back. Get back to you. When's the last time you held a snake? I think that was the first time. Really? Yeah. So what was that experience for you? Even though it was brief? It was scary at first, but I don't mind. Like, it's chilling, so mm -hmm. I guess it's okay. I'm not, like, terrified of snakes like some people are. If I saw it in the wild, yeah, I'm gonna be a little freaked out. Or even this sucker biting me. That's why I converted her into the tub and not the cage, because reaching in, they're in a position to bite you if their head's coiled back. Like, right now, she couldn't bite anybody because her head's fully elongated. But when they're in a ball like that and you reach into the thing, I'm like, yeah, this motherfucker's gonna get me. Uh oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, she's gonna bite my ass. <laughs> Sometimes she'd be like going on my shirt. I'm like, hey, what are you doing in there? In the comments, how long y'all think I'm gonna keep the snakes? 